Well, ladies and gentlemen, so welcome to our conjunction series of the week. And this week we're going to be covering the conjunction of Sun, Mercury, Venus and Rahu. And what happens when Sun, Mercury, Venus and Rahu are conjunct in your horoscope. And as always, if you do not know where this conjunction is placed in your horoscope, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, what house it's in, for that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, Astrology, Conjunctions, and Aspects, and Mahadashas at the Speed of Light, including all my consultations at this link. So, <clears throat> Sun, Mercury, Venus, and Rahu. See, Sun represents your vitality, your ego, your personality. It's your purpose of being born in this life. It represents father, authorities, government. Mercury represents information. Mercury represents communication, speech, learning, knowledge, logic. Venus represents pleasure, love, arts, media, creativity, sensual pleasure, sexual pleasures. Rahu is a very unorthodox energy. It's the energy that goes against the social norms of society. Rahu is a magician, Rahu is a scientist, Rahu is a flamboyant personality that wants to break through. Rahu gives sudden surprises in life. Rahu can give like sudden rack to riches like stories. Rahu always like to like break the rules, do things which are very abnormal, something which society will reject because Rahu planetary cast is an outcast. This person, like if this is a, all the planetary uh, energies, Rahu and Ketu are like out here. They're, that's why they're opposite to each other. They're like, they're out. They're, they're looking at everything from an outside perspective. This is why whenever Rahu is conjunct a certain planet of logic, reasoning, knowledge, a person will always be looking at it from a very outside perspective. Like, ah, what you're saying to me, it's really not what is true. Because I, I can see it from outside the perspective of, of this domain. So it becomes a very, very important planet. So what happens when all of them are conjunct together? So naturally, whenever you have these four planets together, first of all, there is a veil. See, Rahu eclipses, especially the sun, and it puts a veil in front of the person's personality of who they are and what their true identity is. You will find this particular conjunction bring about very egotistical people, people who feel like they're better than others. They feel like they have to get everything better than others. They look at everybody else like peasants. Internally, they will look at everybody like peasants, like, hmm, you know, you don't belong in my section. You might want to go sit there. Because Again, this is not the true identity of a person. Rahu eclipses the actual understanding of the world. So for them, their world is what they have grown up in. This could be a really bad situation. This could be a very pleasant situation. So if there's a thug in some hood who grew up with this situation, for them, an outsider is the enemy. For them, making money by selling drugs, by you know, uh, doing all sorts of gang banging and this and that. That's what they see as that world. That's what their ego is. Their ego is all about, I want everything now by doing this. And what I'm doing, I can reason with it. This is my world. If somebody's grown up in a palace, somebody's grown up in a celebrity uh, household, for them, they feel like they deserve everything. If I go to a restaurant, I need the best. How dare you, you put me here. Look at me, don't you know my name? Don't you know who I am? I'm the son of the star. Don't you know my TV show? Because they feel like they deserve that regal appreciation of the others. They want the pleasure in big balls. They want it now. And they can't seem to stop that understanding of pleasure. Because remember, Venus is now also in this mix. And Mercury's understanding of this is that I am all about communicating about big things. When I come and I talk and I communicate, it's big things, it's in a big manner, it's in a very to your face type of a manner. 
So usually these people always want to go towards fields of cinema, arts, media, photography. I have even seen, to be honest with you, I've even seen people in porn industry. I've seen people in photography industry, even strippers I've seen with this. I've done horoscope of like everybody. You won't even believe the consultations of people that I've done and I can never say their name. I'll them never say their name, you know, but I've seen this conjunction. And especially like some of the people who are in the porn industry, especially the nakshatra just showed it. The nakshatra just showed it. It was like Jeshta nakshatra, Purva Falguni nakshatra. I mean, it was just, it just speaks to you. Like when you understand the conjunction, you just know why this person went into a certain way. Because remember, especially if this conjunction occurs in the ascendant, as in the ascendant is your body, right? So when this is occurring in the ascendant, and let's say especially for a Leo ascendant, the, so all these four planets are conjunct in Leo. And that means the third Lord will be in conjunct in the ascendant, which is Venus. These people like to show their body off in a very exotic manner because Rahu is an exotic planet. They love to move in a very exotic, you know, very unusual manner. They are the people who love to show their body. That look at my body. So what this shows is that this person wants to show their body in an exotic way, stripper, and especially with the fact that it was happening under Purva Felguni Nakshatra. For them, sex is just a way of expressing themselves in a more, more artistic manner. And they think everybody should just love openly. So they went in, into porn industry. So this is not like good or bad. This is just showing that they feel like they need to express themselves in a very unusual manner. Something that a normal people in society won't do. Most of the time, 95% of the time, 99% of the time, people will uh, demoralize them, insult them, while in back they're watching their videos. So everybody's a hypocrite. Everybody blames, oh, you're, you're in porn industry, ew. You don't deserve to be living like a human. Well, then why are you watching their videos in the back? You see? So, but the, this conjunction really brings about an unusual artist. Somebody like, this is the person, whether man or woman, will not be afraid to walk on a catwalk runway with no clothes on. If there were just a jewelry, and I've seen that in New York many times in a fashion week, where there was like a jewelry designer, they had jewelry on, nothing on top, and they were just walking on the ramp. Because, and if you probably look at those models' horoscope, you will probably see a huge effect of Rahu, huge effect of certain nakshatras. And especially when it comes to performing arts, this conjunction brings about the most dramatic sense of art. For them, their expression is like just like those scenes where they can yell and scream and bring out the emotions. That's what they like to do. And it's most of the time they love doing creative artistic things. Because Rahu, you have to understand, you have to understand the dynamic of a conjunction. Rahu in this conjunction is best friends with Venus and Mercury. And it's a bitter enemy of the sun. So what Rahu does, it'll hide the sun, understanding what is right from wrong, and it'll just seek pleasure. All three of them will just seek pleasure and, and without even influencing, you know, like you have a best friend who's very good, very good guy. You bring him to a party. You guys are having a good time. You say, come on, let's do a shot. Let's do a shot. Like, no, no, no. I'm okay. I don't want to do a shot. But then, you know, he gets pressure. He does a shot. It's like, well, okay, okay. Then they do more. Okay, let's do more. And after like four shots of tequila, this person is out there and is dancing. Having the greatest time, everybody is like laughing, screaming that, oh my God, he did it. That's what happens with Venus and Mercury. Venus and Mercury are not so wild. They're creative, artistic, communicative, learned scholars. But because Rahu brought that tequila in, pff, they're now drunken sailors and having fun. And sun is sleeping. The, the personality, go, see, that's what happens when you're drunk. Your true identity gets completely lost, like something else takes over. Which is Rahu. This is where Rahu represents alcohol. Rahu represents uh, drugs and smoke and cigarettes and marijuana, whatever. Everything that can alter your personality. 
And only after the age of 42, these people understand, oh, well, I was really stupid. I made a lot of mistakes. Only after 42. So all your, you know, favorite reality TV stars and movie stars who have this, they're, they're going to keep making those mistakes because their personality is completely hidden. They don't know what's right from wrong. For them, spending 100000 a month on a credit card bill is normal. And they don't realize they're racking their debts. Because they, you're so drunk, you're giving your credit card to the uh, uh, bartender saying, oh, I'm going to buy drinks for everybody. You don't even realize how much that will cost. So, and I, so and that, that's another thing that I've noticed, that they are always in debts because of the fact they feel they have to keep up a certain image. Because sun becomes the image, right? Sun is the light. Because through light you see me, who, what I look like, who I am. But now that light is, there's a magnification glass in front of that light. And now everything is just being blown up. So they have to keep that blown up image up. And only when it's too late, then they realize, oh, okay, trouble, trouble, trouble. How did I get myself into this? This is why all those football players and basketball players who make 130 million and are literally negative 500,000. So one thing that happens, they enjoy life, they're extremely creative, artistic, they're not afraid to show themselves. But on the other hand, the personality just thinks that I am me, I myself and me is it, and then comes everything else. And whatever I do is right. Whatever you tell me I'm doing wrong, it's BS. So that's something you have to watch out for. And obviously, how close the eclipse is towards the sun will also matter. So if let's say your sun is at five degrees, Rahu is at six degrees, that's an eclipse. But if sun is at five degrees, Rahu just entered a particular sign at the 29th degree where sun is, they're like literally 20 to 19 degrees apart. That's not gonna be that bad of a eclipse. So you have to look at all these minute details. And if other malefic planets are impacting it, aspect of Saturn and Sun, if they're in dual sign, then Ketu will also aspect. Then you just, it just becomes a very, very, you know, out of control like energy. Now this can also make in certain signs a great politician. Somebody who can mesmerize a crowd with their speech. Somebody who attracts people. See what happens with Venus and Rahu? They attract people towards them, the opposite sex. And mostly all politicians are lustful. They got the lust for the intern. <laughs> so they mesmerize everybody. They go into the leadership position. And boom, they all they do the manipulating things, make their money and get out. But also, you have to understand, regard, depending upon which planet holds the lowest degree in this conjunction, can save this conjunction. If sun holds the lowest degree, sun will be like, um, I know I have a veil in front of me. It's going to affect me, but I do know exactly what's right from wrong. If Venus holds the highest or lowest degree, or Venus is its own sign, this person will be far more aware of what I'm doing in terms of love, relationship. Sure, they may be lustful. Sure, they may have many, many partners, but they may not go into the porn industry. They may not become strippers. So that's, that's where you have to see that there is an extreme to each conjunction, then there's a moderation to each conjunction. And certain conjunction can never be just all good. Like this conjunction will have some sort of a medium ground towards not understanding the real self. Okay? So guys, this was my analysis of Sun, Mercury, Venus, Rahu conjunction. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you want to know where your conjunctions place, all my books, reports, consultations, for that, check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.